Hello, that kind of nerd patrons. I know this wasn't something that you were expecting to see in your feed, but uh, this was just a conversation that was too good to pass up. Josh and I were getting ready to record episode 185 when uh, we just went off on a little tangent and ended up talking about the, the movie Vice. Um, we went on for like 20 minutes or so. It was just so good that we decided, hey, we should release this. So uh, you fine people are going to be getting the exclusive access to this conversation. Uh, so uh, I hope you enjoy it. it it's just going to start. Uh, Josh and I were just uh, messing around, just riffing a little bit. And then I remember that uh, we didn't talk about Vice between the two of us. Uh, so it's just going to start right away. Just want to say again, thank you for all your support. Uh, we hope that this is uh, stuff that you're interested in. If you guys like this, let us know, and uh, maybe we'll do some more uh, one-off stuff like this. So without further ado, here is our conversation about Vice. Oh, hold on. We need to talk about Vice. You and I oh, need to talk about for sure. how great that movie was. I don't care. Whatever. I'll, we'll put this on Patreon or whatever. Vice was fantastic. Vice is going to win all kind of shit. I I don't know if it will. So why not? Why not? Because it was made. It was made by a point of view that all the snowflakes can get behind. Yes, but it told the story that I'm sitting there watching it with Laura, and she's like, you know, so how how are you feeling about this? And I'm like, <laughs> well, I think it's fucking amazing. Like, yeah. That's Cheney. That's what Cheney was like. That's what yeah, I want. Yeah, I mean, that's I that, want that. I don't want anything else. That's I, what I want him to be like. Yeah. I, I, and that was the thing that it, at the end when he turned. So uh, Cheney breaks the fourth wall at the very mm-hmm. end. He's just mm-hmm. like, I wouldn't change anything that I did. This is what I was. I wanted to do. And I did it. Goddamn right. And I'm just like, yeah, I mean, like, I, OK, I'm not asking for someone to I, I don't need you to, to, to I'm not asking you to put an extra spin on it and villainize him. I, I know what he oh, did. Oh, they did, though. But they did. They did, but I, uh, but I don't need that. I know what he did, why he did it. And I'm like, okay. Like, we were all behind this. If you act like you weren't behind this when it was happening, you're an idiot. Like, Man, I I just thought, I thought the entire, ca- there wasn't a person on that cast where I was like, meh. Yeah. I could do without that. I, I wholeheartedly agree. All of them. It was all of them. so good. Like and all the I, all the way down to all the way down to uh, uh, Allison Pill, who I'm normally not a fan of. She was. I like Allison Pill. Um, yes, yeah, I'll go back to uh, Scott Pilgrim in the newsroom for me. I the mean, newsroom. Yeah. I did not like her. In oh, the okay, newsroom. I did. So uh, that, yeah, you know. But like no, 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 no. every single character, I'm going. This is just on point. Yeah, really on point. They, they did. I, I I like Adam McKay a lot. Uh, I think he does good work, but he makes movies in a way that's really different out of the box a little bit for people. So it, it's a little jarring. Like you remember the big short where they had like Margot Robbie in a bathtub drinking champagne to explain like finances to you. Cause you don't uh, know yes. what the fucking term yes. is. Yes, I do. Like, I do. Only I, as a way, matter of fact, remember that the only way you will pay attention to what I'm about to tell you about mortgages is if Margot Robbie's in a bathtub drinking champagne. Are we cool with that? All right. And I love the fact I'm literally losing my shit in the, in the middle of the movie where they start rolling the credits. And the, oh you know, Yeah. And and the Cheneys stayed out of public life and public view, and they raised dogs. And Cheney yeah. ran an Iron We're Man. We're cracking up. I'm losing my shit. No one else in the theater is laughing as hard as I am. Like I, you, I'm clearly right in on it. I think a lot of people forget that he directed and he produced the other guys, which is yeah. w- one uh, of the funnier movies in the last I, ten years. I also agree. I like the other guys a lot. I like it more than like Step Brothers and other movies in that. Oh, for age. sure, for sure, for sure. Um, uh, because Mark Wahlberg wasn't in Step Brothers. Um, <laughs> right. but like the guy can do comedy. He can yeah. do drama. He can do action. Very, very. Look, I was, I was very happy. Uh, I mean, very happy. Big fan of Jesse Plemons. I, I think uh, Jesse Plemons is in everything, and he knows how to pick the right things. Like he was in Game Night, and he like stole the show on Game Night. Like just stole the movie. Any scene he was in in Game Night, he totally stole. Uh, I mean, Christian Bale is uh, just amazing as a, as an actor. I even thought Amy Adams was. I mean, like Amy nobody Adams was. Amy Adams is always fantastic. Steve Carell. I was like Steve Carell. Is oh, a little Steve Carell. No, nope. perfect. He was great. And then and can, Sam Rockwell. Please, yes. Can we talk about the G? When you talk about the two people leading this movie, uh, actor wise, Christian Bale, Sam Rockwell. Top. Sam top, Rockwell had a much smaller part. Yeah, than but Amy Adams. Great but freaking no, performance. Really, 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 
rock the hell out of that performance. I have never, I don't walk out of many videos or, or movies, I, I should say, of Sam Rockwell's going, oh, he was okay. I'm always like, God damn, Sam Rockwell, you're so good. Uh, Zaphod Beeblebrox. Like, he's the high point. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Sam, of, of Hitchhiker's Guy. It was Sam Rockwell. Oh, okay. Zaphod, yeah, yeah. Zaphod Beeblebrox. Right. It was Hitchhiker's. It was, it was Sam Rockwell in the, the villain role in Charlie's Angels. And you're like, what, what? on earth just happened? I, I remember watching Moon, which has uh, Sam Rockwell three times in the movie. Uh, really great performance. I mean, everything he does is is just great. But there was uh, Tyler Perry also. Colin Powell. Tyler Perry's. I was just like, I, I'm enjoying watching Tyler Perry right now. Yeah, and he was. Yes, yes. I, I, I did not hate Tyler Perry. It wasn't. It was uh, a, I wasn't I wasn't disappointed in any way by it. It was just it, it was good. It just was right there. But like I said, there wasn't a single bad performance. Correct. Yeah. Not no. one. I, I definitely enjoy. And I like the fact that on the political spectrum, you and I are on, on different different planes. But oh, for sure. Both going into this movie going cool. Like, I appreciate this for what what it is. I can see through some of the perception of. Well, all right. Well, come on. Like, come on. Like, I get it. But come on. Uh, but just at the end of the day, just in, enjoying the movie and, and just seeing what's the chick that played Condoleezza that? Rice was fantastic. She Lisa was Hamilton. great. Yeah. Yeah. This movie was fantastic. I mean, I'm, I it, it is it is um, uh, like it came out in 2018. I watched it at the very end of 2018. And, and when we did the top five, I didn't list it as such because I feel like it's a 2019 movie. Hey, I feel so, too. Yeah. Um, so I'm probably going to take that loophole, but at this, at this point right now, it's my favorite movie of 2019. Um, yeah, I'm willing to, I'm willing to put that there for, for now. Like, I mean, obviously we're going to have, there's uh, going to be a lot more. Yeah. We're going to have, you know, (laughs) but yeah, but this, this was, uh, one of the better movies I've seen in the last two years is how I feel about it. Like it's, it's certainly, um, it's like the the best uh, satirical biopic I've ever seen. I think mm-hmm. like uh, I don't really know how else to categorize. Yeah, that it, really right? would be the best way to to do it. Um, but it was just it was it was so tongue in cheek. Oh, yeah, and it was so right there in your fucking face. Like it was everything. Like everybody knows everything that's going on, right? Yeah, right, right. But it's still happening, isn't it? Yeah. And and you know, Dick Cheney's like, fuck yeah, it is. Yep. And and that's kind of the whole movie. You're just it, you're kind of you're waiting for like, when are they gonna when are they gonna blow it up? When so then you're like, <laughs> when's someone gonna go? Wait a minute, that's right. This isn't right, right? And you know what? And nobody ever did, and that's okay. That for me, that's perfectly okay. I, I'm gonna take some. I understand. I'm gonna take some flack for that. I don't kind of. I don't care. And it's it's tough to talk about uh, a movie. That is 100% political without keep with that puts a politics in it. But no, putting I, some po- and I'm not I'm really not trying to do that. And guys. again, I'm just saying would, in retrospect, like I remember I remember how I felt about these topics when they, when were, they were going on. Up. And I, yeah. I I felt, OK, great. Yeah. Go ahead. I okay. felt like that then. I feel like that now. Yeah, there, there, there are only a few times where I was just like, oh, wow, we really let like we really let that happen. But I remember and, and, and I'm younger than you, too. So I the, I had a different filter when the events were actually happening. Going, oh, okay, like, yeah, I'm on, I'm on board with this. And now that I'm older, I was like, oh, okay, like, all right, that's a little, that's a little touchy. But uh, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it. It's where it's, it's how we got here. So I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna be like, oh, do over. Like, yeah, this was yeah. Uh, like the first election I voted in. Okay, yeah, so. this, this was the first session where I started to notice and care. Like, when I started to like listen to other people's conversations about politics and started to like, maybe start thinking for myself. I was still taking a lot of, a lot of guidance and a lot of just gut feelings from everyone around me that was on the same level as me, but it was, yeah. uh, but I was still starting to, to care. I was, I was, uh, I was only, I was only 20. Yeah. So, I mean, it was, it was like, uh, you know, it was all, it was all very new and I, I had, you know, uh, very little experience and it was, it was all just, it was all just very new. And then, and then obviously September 11th heaven, yeah. and everything changes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and that's, that's the other part was, um, you know, my, my brother's in the military. He was on delayed entry. September 11th happened. And they're like, Hey, you're going to the military. And at that time, we're just like, are you going to Afghanistan? Like, 
what's going to happen to my brother. So you start right. paying attention to, you know, what at that time, you know, the, what the grownups were saying. I was in eighth grade, for Christ's sake. Just going, oh, what are the grownups saying? And just trying trying to listen to Oh, them. I was still, I was a 20-year-old child. Yeah. Like, I was, a, I was a 20-year-old with zero life experience. My entire life was about uh, my work and my friends and my girlfriend, who's now my wife. Beautiful wife. Um, but no, absolutely zero world experience. Um, so everything was, you know, like you said, kind of upside down. Yeah. Um, and, and I remember then feeling like it was going to be okay. Right. But I mean, this movie real, I mean, really Mm -hmm. dug a lot of that up. It it did. And, and what I, what I really liked too, when I just took a step back and just looked at it from uh, the, the perception of that is a person and this is what a person was doing and removing the political landscape agenda, agenda removing, right, the, removing agenda. the agenda and just going this is a story of a man who basically was on, at, at the bottom run with no power i like how they called him you know they called him a ne'er-do-well but back then they would have called him an asshole and you're just like oh that makes make sense a guy going from that journey to someone saying pick your shit up get it together you're this is not the you know the marriage i i entered into figure your shit out and going power you know, i'll Gosh. get all the power i can possibly get and but when I get the power, so I, get, I get more. She was amazingly strong, and I and Ugh. I I've never I've never read into their life too much besides you know the, the relationship. Yeah, with no, his I don't think I I don't think the relationship can be substantiated in right. any way, right? But like yeah. that's how you want to see it. The stuff that you've seen about, um, I don't know if you have, but I have. Uh, so I've watched a ton of stuff about um, George H. W. Bush, forty first president, um. And the, like you can't we can't substantiate that he and Barbara had what he, people say or he says they had. But like you feel like they did. Oh, absolutely. The same thing. with, And you feel the same thing with Cheney and the same thing with Cheney with his with his daughters. I 100 yes. percent believe yeah. he had that strong relationship with his daughters. It that was the just... man would do anything for his daughters. And even if that would cost him a political headache, he didn't give a shit. Those were those were his kids. I, uh, are we, I mean, spoilers at this point? Well, listen, it's, um, yeah. Well, well, I guess here's what I'm saying. I was, you know, the, the storyline with, uh, the sisters and the one running for office. Yeah. And obviously Cheney made the decision not to. In his make, career. In his career, in his career right. Make- Make her Go, sexuality like, like a distance issue. himself from his daughter and her sexuality in any no. way. No, he stood but by her. He did. Yes. Uh, but when it came to his other daughter, he was kind of like, "Look, that's your call." Yeah. Like I, I, I agree. It's not my career. And, you got to live with it. And that's and that's where I thought the movie. But they didn't show. They didn't show any of that. One hundred percent. And that's where I thought the movie I thought was unfair, of the sense of. Cheney made that for uh, for his career and his life, and that was that his has nothing rule, to do with her, and that right? Was his compass, and what he's like, I'm his, retired, it, I'm good. Yeah, he's like, fine. Like, listen, and, and he, uh, it's enough to go. You're the adult. You also have your own relationship with your sister. That's that's up to you. I, I don't I don't feel Cheney's gonna. Go like, well, you know, I, I like, wouldn't, but I, I would, like or, or, or you things. have my consent. Fuck that. He's not going to yeah. be like, you don't need my consent. I'm with you. And I, I like how many things were left unsaid, but right, like super inferred. Yeah, absolutely. It was just really, really great writing mm-hmm. and really great. It was a great screenplay. Like I, I thought, I thought all all the ways they they played with language and played with. Oh, the scene. Um, hold on. I got to jump in the scene where they. Dude, we're not going to do like a Shakespeare soliloquy. Oh, my God. Cut to black Shakespeare soliloquy. I mean, just conversation between I am just laughing my ass off. I'm just I'm almost on the floor laughing, just enjoying. It was was brilliant. What's happening on the screen, following and listening to their conversation, hearing them deliver it in that in that rhythm, in that pattern and just enjoying the acting and the conversation that they're having. Even the the dramatic sound effect of lightning and thunder. Sure. Uh, just but they did that the a few scene. times. They did it a few times. They had yep. him like they had him like yada yada a whole speech. Yeah. Right. And and like a, a like monologue with like uh, you know curse words and insults. And yeah. It was just. It was so good. It was really good writing. It was really good. and I, and I, I I'm glad that we came to that the, a couple points. If we were just like, all right, the movie exaggerated this. I don't believe that happened. And uh, blah blah blah. And, and and we can at least come out with okay. We know where the spots where it's unbalanced is unbalanced. That's but it's still it kinda, a good that's movie. Like, that's where I arrived at. Like this is the like 
the best biographical satire yeah like i've ever seen and it I mean, was very satirical. it even opens up with the like the opening text tells you what the movie is which is you know this is the best uh, these are the uh, events according to the facts that we have Listen, we can't corroborate everything. Cheney's like we the most. We did the fucking pri- best we could. <laughs> we did the fucking best we could. Cheney's the most private person in the world. We did the fucking best we could. All right. And I'm just like, I'm in for this movie. I now understand where we're coming from that I can just sit back and just, just enjoy I, it. Honestly, I, I enjoy man, it. I, I mean, I'm not kidding. I don't. I, I want to watch it again. The nomination's been released yet? Yeah. For I, the for, for, not for Oscars, but for Golden Globes, it's it's got quite a few. That, so I'm assuming it's got Bale, Amy Adams, and Steve Carell well, all nominated. I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up for you on the IMDb page. I have the entire list. And Adam McKay and Best Picture. It better be. Christian Bale nominated for Best Actor. Amy Adams nominated for Best Supporting Actress. Sam Rockwell for Best Supporting Actor. Adam right. McKay for Screenplay. And Adam McKay for Director for the Golden Globes. So not Carell, huh? Not Carell. That's interesting to me. Well, I mean, it may be correct, but this is what they have here on on the 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 thing that stood out when I was, you know, I'm I'm, I'm, obviously I'm captivated watching the movie and that scene where like Rumsfeld is now working for Cheney. Yeah, obviously. So it's it's totally flipped. Right. And he's just like soft touch. Is it possible that you're more ruthless than you used to be? And and Christian Bale just sort of looks, you know, sideways. Uh, He's sitting sideways in his chair, looks at him, and then he gives him, like, the soft touch speech later, and I'm just like, Jesus, this is... I I really like, again, the fact that it was a a man's uh, a a, a man's challenge to go, I want want the power. How do I get the power? I got the power. Like, I've done it. Like, nothing's gonna stop me me until I get the power. Yeah, I'm not gonna fill out along the way, and it'd be great to make some friends, but just like you said, he his mentor is now working for him. Right. And, and, he, and Cheney is at a higher position than Rumsfeld has ever been and ever will be. And he's just like, I've, I've got the power. And also it's time for you to go. You would totally do this as well. Are you sorry about it? He goes, no, good. I want to be either just like, right. Yep. Right on. This is great. I, I, I'm really enjoying watching this, the, watching this go. The, I think I, and if I just one more, one more scene for me, that, um, second or third meeting, um, with Cheney and Bush, where they're like outside eating chicken wings, <laughs> drinking lemonade, and he's like, "If we can come to a different understanding, it's, oh yeah, a different." It's the one that's in the trailers. Yes, yes, it is in the trailer. Not the whole. Not the, the whole scene, scene wasn't in the, the whole trailer, scene is it, but the um, yeah. and and I'm watching it just like, I mean, he. He got a very powerful man to sign off on 50-50 ownership. Oh, yeah. I no, I think your your split of 50-50 is completely unfair to get 60-40 change. No, it, it might be. It might be, but like <laughs> dude, but yeah, I, but he's I, just like I, I he just talked his way into And nobody knows. Nobody knows right. if that's actually the handshake, right? But right. I mean, come on. It it, it, it was written it sure, so well and so believably it sure that felt based like on it. based on the gravitas mm-hmm. uh carried by Cheney, you kind of think maybe this that's shit happened. Really happened. Right. Yeah. Um, there was a, a good line. There was another one too. It was a Steve Carell line. It was a uh, uh, Cheney was uh, being an, in, it was just got the internship program and wanted to be under Rumsfeld. And he goes in and Rumsfeld's like, Hey, Cheney, I saw your DUIs on there and I, I took care of them. And Cheney goes, Thank you. He goes, No, thank you for when your neighbor helps you with the groceries. You owe me one. <laughs> I'm just like, Hey, 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 all right. I'm going to use that. I don't know when, but someone's going to owe me one day. It really, and I'm gonna really, use that that sentiment of no, thank yous for the little shit. You owe me just, one. They did, they did like they didn't gloss over the grime. No, um, but but they they also didn't make anybody an evil mastermind. Yes, either. Yes, I agree with you. There wasn't a conniving guy who was stealing power. Yeah, and there weren't weaselies. It, no, like, no, it no, was no. just it was just very casual. Yeah, it was just like okay, like by the way, he thinks he's like he's he's got the legal the last one to be in charge now and everyone's cool with it so okay just <laughs> what's next it really <laughs> what's really, next? really what's next what's, when what's i say next? what's next it means, means i'm ready to move on yep what's next all right uh, i hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, impromptu uh conversation uh, about vice uh we were doing this right before we recorded episode 185 and we figured hey uh since we were talking we might as well uh share it with with you patrons so uh, go see this movie. I I I enjoyed it so much. I want to go see it again. Yeah. Uh, I, I I can't recommend it enough. And uh, keep keep an eye out for it. It's probably gonna win some awards. So um, hope you enjoyed.